Welcome to today's study. The subject is called Targeting the Cream of the Crop. Daniel chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. And the king spake unto Aspenes, the master of the eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princes, children in whom there was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science, and such as had the ability in them to stand in the king's place, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. A brilliant strategy by a brilliant king who wanted and did conquer the then known world. King Nebuchadnezzar requested his slave master to select the best of the Jewish population because anybody he conquered, he wanted to convert them as Chaldeans. Who were those? Those of noble birth, good looking and intelligent. What an attractive combination. He did not want ordinary village folk. He wanted to convert the cream of the crop of the future Jewish generations into the way of the Babylonians. Brothers and sisters, I'm sure your alarm bells are already ringing. Let's look at this further. He targeted the very best of God's people to turn them into his own servants. This is a clear strategy of how the enemy looks at you and me today. The devil, he has the same strategy. He targets those whom God has anointed for his good work to become his future servants. The same as Nebuchadnezzar, Satan was behind him then and Satan is doing the same thing today. He's targeting those whom God has anointed. So what's the simple strategy? He attacks you just like he did Adam and Eve, that they believe that God had distanced himself from them because of sin in their lives. Isn't it strange that whenever we are tempted or fall into sin, there's a thought that comes into our head that God has distanced himself from us. Brothers and sisters, let me assure you, this is the greatest lie. Where there is sin, God abounds. He is closer to you to wipe it out with his precious blood and make you once again clean. That's the God you and I serve. So the more determined a Christian is to be the very best for God, the very best is going to get attacked because you are a target for Satan. He is going to attack you and I pray that you are going to be now prepared for this. So when you stand up to serve God, you just placed yourself on Satan's target list. I'm sure you're watching this message and telling yourself, wow, I'm getting targeted. Ephesians 6.16 says, instead, why does he say instead? Because he's saying instead of worrying about the attack, take up the shield of faith. That Hebrew word emuna again, which is able to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. What is this? The thoughts he sows into your minds. So brothers and sisters rejoice that the attacks you're facing clearly proves that you're God's best. And that's the only reason Satan is attacking you. Just like Daniel was attacked, he knew the promises that God had made to Father Abraham. Genesis chapter 15 and verse one, God says to Abraham, I will be thy shield and thy great and abundant reward. When we look at Abraham's life, Daniel's life, David's life, yes, they were all attacked, but eventually they were victorious. So brothers and sisters today, face the enemy in the armor of God as he sees you as his anointed general in a holy war. As you are the cream of the crop of the Lord's victorious army, and wherever you are being attacked, remember Emuna faith. 
I pray, brothers and sisters, that you have learned something from this. Be encouraged and know that you are listening to this message because you are the cream of the crop. Be blessed and may the Lord bless you.